What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nicey Chungabini. I'm here with my co-host, Greg King. What's good, everybody? And you're listening to the Ball Fake Podcast. Welcome back to another episode. It's now episode 31. If you're new to our YouTube channel or you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure you give us a nice review. Comment hashtag Let's Go Viral. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate that because we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So make sure you guys do that. But today we got a very special video for you guys. But before we hop into that, I want to give a quick shout out to our subscriber of the day, which is Luis Rodriguez. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. Turn on post notification and just supporting our YouTube YouTube channel and our podcast overall we greatly appreciate it but today we're going to talk about Lonzo Ball possibly possibly being in trade rumors with the Los Angeles Clippers now I kind of want to break down how this whole thing started and I'm going to just basically start from the jump where you know in the beginning of the season Lonzo obviously he turned down the contract extension because he wasn't too appealed by the amount of money that he was offered by the New Orleans Pelicans now with that being said this basically means that he's going to be a free agent by the end of the season. And given the fact that, you know, he's been playing at an exceptional level as of late, his trade value has hit an all time high. Now, with that being said, the Pelicans know they're probably not going to match any offers that, you know, Lonzo's going to get this offseason because, you know, there's teams like the Knicks, the Chicago Bulls, maybe even, you know, those teams like uh, that were in trade rumors with him earlier in the season, like the Toronto Raptors or some they possibly could, you know, throw some big money at this guy. But like I said, the Pelicans, they're just not willing to, you know, give Lonzo the amount of money that he wants. So with that being said, they know they should more than likely trade him rather than allowing him to walk for nothing in free agency. Now, with that being said, there's a few teams that have shown interest. Like I said, the Chicago Bulls, the New York Knicks, Dallas Mavericks, and so on and so on. But it seems like the Los Angeles Clippers have been the front runners. And I think that's given it, it's just because, you know, they're they're a team. They're they're located yes. in LA. They obviously need playmaking at the point guard position because Patrick Beverly, that's not his role necessarily. And then on top of that, they seem to be the team that's been in trade talks, negotiating trades with the Pelicans more than any other team that you know has shown interest so they seem to be the front runners but i don't think that they'll acquire alonzo and it's simply just because i don't think they have the assets that the pelicans want you know new orleans they're a young team that's pushing to make a playoff run and everything and they clearly stated that they either want some first round picks or some young assets now you look at the los angeles clippers roster they don't have that <laughs> they don't have it whatsoever honestly they have Kawhi leonard paul george and then you got those older veterans like lou williams patrick beverly and then you have those young guys that you know are on their way they they're still trying to get a little feel for the nba like guys like terrence mann um lou Kennard. if you ask me i don't think he he's not all that um attractive when it comes to you know sticking him in new orleans i don't think he really fits with that system um same thing with guys like lou williams i don't think lou williams fit with that system either and then patrick beverly his style of play is just unwanted and then lastly patrick patterson i don't think he holds the value that you know the new orleans pelicans will want so it's kind of hard to find a trade scenario for the clippers to acquire alonzo ball and but greg what do you think yeah and they don't have picks i mean they don't pick till like 2027 because they trade all the picks to the thunder for uh paul george so i mean they're just in a tough spot if they really want lonzo they're just gonna have to figure it out but i think that what lonzo's playing and the stuff that he can bring to the clippers i think it'll be a good fit especially because he likes to get on transition he likes to push the pace and that's something that the clippers need uh they are the 26 they're 26 in pace right now so that bringing in a guy like lonzo who can push the pace and get out of transition will definitely get them easy baskets and i've been saying this for the longest Getting Lonzo Ball will take the pressure off of Paul George. People have been slandering him, especially last, uh, last playoffs um, with him struggling in the playoffs. Taking the pressure off of him if they added Lonzo Ball would be huge. So I think I think it's a good move. Right. And, you know, they're, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, they're essentially playing outside of their role as well. They're, they're forced to be the scorers and the playmakers in L.A. And that just isn't a good recipe for success. Also, given the fact that, you know, Tyron Lue is now their head coach, there, you're kind of going to get a little bit of different situations and scenarios that these guys are going to be put in, especially given the fact that, you know, they lost Montrez Harrell in free agency. And overall, this is kind of a team that it seems like, you know, they've taken a step back as far as talent wise. Now, as far as Lonzo coming to LA, 
if they were able to, you know, acquire Lonzo Ball in a trade somehow, some way, I don't necessarily think that it would improve them all that much. Now, the Clippers, they're, they're I believe, top four in the Western Conference as of right now. And sticking a guy like Lonzo Ball, who's been playing the spot up shooter, three and D type of guy type of role this entire season, I think it would it would essentially damn near hurt his game if he were to go to LA in a new system and have to be the playmaker once again because it he just hasn't been that this entire season i'm not saying that he can't do that but i don't think you will get the exact same lonzo ball that you're seeing right now in la if you were to put him in that back in that playmaking role so yeah and i think it would be a lot of pressure on him too because they were i mean they're contending teams so they would want him to come in and do the things that you just said be that playmaker be that be that point guard for them yes yeah i totally agree and then on top of that it adding lonzo ball doesn't necessarily fix all of your problems if you're the los angeles clippers i think this is a team they still need help in the front court you know like i stated earlier they lost mantra's hero in free agency he wasn't a defensive player or anything but you know he gave you scoring off the bench which is another thing that you lack um lou williams he he has not been lou williams as of um the old Lou Williams that we all know and love. Like he struggled a bit this season. They starting to pick it up a little bit as of late, but Lou Williams can't do it all on that second unit. So I think they need to go out and focus on getting guys in the front court and also extending out their bench because their bench scoring, it just, there's no type of depth. There's, there's not much to work with there in that second unit. So if I'm the Clippers, yes, I will have Lonzo Ball in the back of my mind, but I don't think that he would necessarily elevate them all that much. Like, do you think that the Clippers would be able to really um, contend with teams like the Los Angeles Lakers, given the fact that they would have LeBron James and Anthony Davis come back? And, you know, if they able to, you know, make it to the finals somehow, would they be able to compete with teams like the Philadelphia Six, 76ers, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Brooklyn Nets? Do you think that they would be able no, to? Or? No, I don't think I don't think the Clippers will. No. Not, not the team that's constructed right now. No, no, not a chance. And I mean, I just, I've never been, I've never been sold. I never thought, I don't think that New Orleans will trade Lonzo just for the simple fact that I don't think that the assets that they are wanting, I don't think too many, te the teams that have shown interest, I don't think that they're going to be, I don't think that they're going to have the assets that, you know, New Orleans really wants. I mean, we also look at, we look at those teams like the Bulls and the Knicks, like I stated earlier. I mean, who on the Knicks are the are, are the Knicks gonna be willing to give up for Lonzo Ball? They're not gonna give up Julius Randle, obviously. I can't see them giving up a guy like RJ Barrett. Maybe is Alfred Pay is Alfred Payton enough to, you know, swindle the Pelicans into throwing Lonzo Ball into that trade? I don't think so. And Obi Toppin, uh, I I still don't I couldn't see New York even giving him up. So they the Pelicans, they're in a tough situation, man. They're in a tough situation. And they have until Thursday to trade this guy. So I can't really see him. And I've stated this basically since trade rumors have started. I can't really see him getting traded anywhere. Because on top of that, it's kind of a domino effect, right? You know you just pay. If you're New Orleans, you know you just pay Brandon Ingram. And you know you're going to have to get ready to pay Zion Williamson. So, yes, that led you to low ball Lonzo Ball outside of the fact that, you know, he just wasn't playing up to par. Yeah. But... If you're the Pelicans, report, uh, I just saw a report that Lonzo wants to make twenty million a year if he hits free agency. So that that is huge, right? But if you're the Pelicans and you let Lonzo walk, what does that say? what does that tell Zion? Because Zion and Lonzo they have a great great relationship and they have great chemistry on the basketball court. I think Lonzo Ball actually makes Zion Williamson's life a lot easier. Because Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson, they've kind of been their scorers and a playmaker, similar to what Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are dealing with in LA. So I just can't see that. I can't see this entire thing working out. But what I will say is, don't be surprised if Zion Williamson leaves the second he, the second, the chance that he gets whenever, if Lonzo is not returning to the New Orleans Pelicans. Do not be surprised because for one, Zion's never been a guy who was interested to go in New Orleans. He's a he's a big name player, so he wants to play in a bigger market. We all know Zion wanted to play for the New York Knicks. So I just cannot see him re-signing with the Pelicans, if, especially if Lonzo Ball leaves in free agency or gets traded through via trade. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that the Los Angeles Clippers will be able to make a move for Lonzo Ball before the trade deadline ends? But Outside of that, it's your boy, Nicey Chunga Benny. I'm here with my co-host, Greg King, and we out. Let's go we viral. Out.